The Odd Pod. The Odd Pod. Brexit is actually going really well so far, insisted the British government yesterday as the adjacent island runs out of fuel, food and workers whilst enjoying ongoing struggles with border control and a lack of a trade deal with the US. As drivers began to queue outside petrol stations before going home to their freezing houses because they can't afford the heating, senior government officials over there have insisted that everything is going completely to plan in the country and Brexit is a roaring success. A spokesperson for the government revealed, yes, things are going great, just like we said they would. I mean, obviously, food is a lot more expensive if you're lucky enough to find that there's anything left on the shelves and it's going to cost an absolute bomb to heat your houses over the winter because energy prices are soaring. But other than that, it's fine, apart from the farmers and fishermen, of course, who are admittedly struggling a bit, and the hospitality sector, which is totally and utterly out of order because they can't get any workers. But at least the NHS is doing great because of all the extra money they're getting. And I think the Irish border thing is sorted now and everyone's happy with no ongoing risk to the peace process. So that's good. Asked if he's happy with the post-Brexit trade deal secured with the likes of the US, as promised, he told us... uh, hmm. In other news, the British national anthem God Save the Queen is to be replaced with the theme music from the Benny Hill show called Yakety Sax, the farcical comical music that plays whilst the speeded up Benny Hill runs around slapping bald men's heads and leering at girls in their pants will reflect Great Britain's new place in the world following Brexit and several years of Boris Johnson being Prime Minister. God Save the Queen is a slow, serious, almost solemn piece that used to reflect the respect in which Great Britain was held throughout the world, explained government representative Eleanor Gay. A silly, farty piece of horn music seems a lot more appropriate nowadays. Whenever Boris appears on the world stage to represent Britain, his being accompanied by the strains of the Benny Hill music should give the occasion the appropriate level of dignity just before he mentions the Muppets. Other options considered as a new national anthem included Fat Les's Vindaloo. The Benny Hill theme did seem to be a popular choice for some Britons. Yeah, I like it. It's a bit of fun, you know, said Simon Williams, no relation, and a normal person whose name is Simon Williams. But then I voted for Boris and Brexit, so I'm not sure I'm the best person to ask about anything, he said. The Odd Pod. Odd Pod. And don't forget, The Odd Pod is available to download wherever, whenever you want, from Facebook, Twitter and Spotify. Or you can subscribe for free at manxradio.com.